all I'm going to do is show you something in this video here um, and just tell you that the scriptures talk about it and it's just mind blowing to see it coming to pass so, so here we go this. hold on see heaven being much better than this yeah blessings on blessings for me and my niggas from the six look now did you catch that it said listen to what he said yeah blessings blessings on blessings on blessings for me and my for me and my niggas from niggas and from from the six from the six and and just just pay attention here. It's crazy. Um, blessings on blessings for me and my nigga. Notice how it blurs the directors. However, this worked out. Um, it actually blurs his face out and everything, and focuses in on this. Now, I don't know if you know what that is, but that's a little ha this hand sign is. But just notice what he said. It said blessings on blessings for my niggas from the six. Notice what this said. Notice. I just want to read a scripture to you. Real quick, uh, just look, you can look at it yourself. This is it. Man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. That's what it is. So I wanted to show you that and also just this whole thing is really Check out. this symbolism with this subliminal symbolism and everything. So, uh, that's what it is. And the only hope we have is what Jesus Christ did at that cross. And you, with your heart, believing unto righteousness with your heart, you know, relying, trusting that, oh, putting your faith, uh, believing the gospel message, believing, uh, uh because Jesus Christ died on the cross, he was buried and he rose again, and it's only by by his death on the cross that we can that the justice for our sins was paid. Uh, we deserve eternity in hell. We all sin. Now, he, in case you didn't know, this right here is an example of disobedience to God, and the whole time he's really actually just saying, he's over here acting like he's worshiping God. Don't be deceived. This guy, he he, this man is not worshiping God. So, um, really, they're deceived. Uh, I mean, I've even heard things like people and, uh, you know, Luciferians believe that Satan is God. They believe that something like, it's really twisted, like God, uh, Satan, Lucifer came down to save Adam and Eve. It's just really twisted. So, uh, that, who know, there's no telling who they're, who they're praying, who they think they're praying to, but, uh, it's definitely not the one true God because the one true God does not condone that ty the type this type of behavior right here, and you know trying to promote six 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 and everything. Um, it's just. Gave out Grammys on my Instagram. The OVO boys, the business man. So you know it's. I just want to show you that, and the only hope we have is what Jesus Christ did at the cross and his shed blood and the justice that was paid there. Because God is just, and, you know, he can't let someone who's violated his law go unpunished, or else he would be unjust. And, yeah, so that's what it is. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you get something out of this video. Um, and I hope you turn to the Bible and the scriptures and read them for yourself, even what I'm saying. Uh, right now, just go to the scriptures to see if every, to check everything I'm saying, and uh, just please, Jesus Christ is the only hope that mankind has. Faith in Jesus Christ, and um, 
the sacrifice that he made at, he made at that cross because there was many people crucified, but their sacrifices weren't enough to save save us because they were sinners just like you and me. But Jesus was not a sinner; he never sinned his entire lifetime, so he qualified to pay the just penalty for any person who put their trust in that in what he did there. Trust that what he did there was enough to purchase their uh, to make to justify them and. Uh, that's what it is so that's what I wanted to share um, and like I said I hope you you take heed and beware about a lot of the things that are happening right now all across the earth I mean I used to listen to him, these people when I was in that type of lifestyle but eventually you, you know I mean, I, I, God saved, God delivered me from this stuff. He delivered me from this present evil world. So it's just like, you know, this lifestyle is not cool. It doesn't last either. It's just temporal. It's all temporary. Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall never pass away. So beware about what's happening and come to Christ. Uh, that's what I just, that's what it is. I mean, I, I can't, I have to say the truth. It's just there is eternity in hell. And I don't, I don't care what people think. I don't care that people would accuse me of not being loving enough because I tell people about that. I'm going to tell them. Uh, so I'm going to tell them there is hell to pay for your sins. And I'm going to tell them that Jesus Christ paid for their sins on the cross so that they don't have to go to hell. I'm going to tell them that. So <sighs> thank you for watching, and I hope you got something out of this. So.